What's going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I want to present to you this eight foot long jib slash crane arm. This is made by a company called Camgear and they're based in India. They're known for making a ton of affordable filmmaking equipment such as different steady cams and sliders. But today we are going to be reviewing their jib or crane arm. Now what's included with the system? Well, Basically the crane itself, except for the counterweight and the tripod, everything else you do get. And of course you don't get the camera included, but let me show you how this thing works. It's based off of what I like to call seesawing technology. So cranes are used to show off objects from a specific height. So you can actually demo or better yet recreate a drone shot simply by going up or going down. And what's great about this crane is that the tilt head here moves along with your boom. So as you go up, the camera will automatically tilt along with that boom. So how does it work? Well, we have a counterweight on one side, we have a camera on the other side, and as you can see, it's perfectly balanced. Counterweights are very cheap. This is like five, 10 bucks for a 10 pound counterweight. I'm using a Sony a7S with a Zeiss 16 to 35 f4 lens with a Tilta cage. So it's basically perfectly balanced using a simple 10 pound weight. Now this crane supports cameras all the way up until 10 pounds, but I wouldn't want to place anything heavier than my current setup here because I feel like I'm going to lose a lot of stability. When it comes down to using a tripod, definitely use something that can support up to 25, 30 pounds. This fancier FT717 tripod does a great job. I'll leave a link for it in the description box below along with this crane product. But you definitely want a fluid head tripod, something that's not plastic or cheap aluminum. You want something that's extremely durable. Nothing light will be able to be enough for this giant crane. So keep that in mind. And by the way, the taller your tripod is, the more height you get out of your jib or crane. Now I also got their dolly system. This is not a filmmaking dolly. It's rather just a simple tripod dolly for you to conveniently move the setup from room to room. When you press record on your camera, I wouldn't rely on this to get you the smoothest or quietest shots. This is just a convenience factor. This is actually a very nice dolly. It opens up into three different pieces here. The wheels spin freely very well. They're solid rubber and they're very durable. Also, they support weights of up to 130 pounds, so that's perfect for my setup currently. Now, to install our tripod on the dolly, all we have to do is take our tripod legs and fit them inside the necessary mounting areas, which are pretty easy to spot out with these red tabs here. I don't like the fact that they did not put rubber pads on these tabs, so as soon as we screw it on, it's gonna scratch up the legs of your tripod, so I would really like to have you know, pads that protect that from happening. So if you have any rubber or Velcro lying around, try to attach it to these red tabs. That way it won't scratch up the legs of your tripod. Once everything is tightened up, we can take our quick release plate from our tripod and mount it onto the first part of the frame of the crane. I do recommend using both the 3 8 inch screw port and the quarter 20 inch screw port when mounting this thing. It is a lot of weight, so you want to secure this thing as best you can. Once you've mounted that part of the crane on your tripod, you are going to hook up the second part of the crane to the first part. All we have to do is combine the two pieces together, tighten everything up with wing nuts, and also don't forget to attach the tilt arm to the connection port. And once you've done that, we can attach our camera, screw it on with the included screw. This is a basic cheese plate, so it should be very simple to install your camera. Then place your counterweight pole on the screw, tighten it up, and then mount your counterweight. Now I know some of you are gonna be asking me if you can attach a gimbal to this end of the crane. Technically you can, but that would be adding a lot of weight. Don't forget that the more weight you add to the system, the more stress you put on these metals. And this is made out of aluminum. It's thin aluminum and it's light, but it's thick enough 
to get the job done. So I wouldn't want to max out the payload capacity on this system. It's just not going to be too stable. Overall, I was very happy with the shots that I got with my Sony a7S and Zeiss 16 to 35 F4. I think this crane did an overall pretty decent job. There are parts where I think there needs to be a lot of improvements and let me go over those parts with you right now. First things first, the connection port for the tilt arm here, it arrived with missing screws. Either they fell out in the box and I couldn't find them or they fell out during use. Now the good thing about cam gear is that they're very open to customers telling them how to improve their products. There is a person I'm talking to through email and he's very good with communication. So if you guys have issues with your products, they are definitely open to helping you out. So you are getting great customer support out of this. But this is just something that they need to look out for in quality control. I hope that in the future generation of this product, they fix this connection port. I don't like the fact that I already lost two screws and it just doesn't look too reliable for me. Also, there are different hinges on this crane that I feel like need to have better bearings or oiled up better because it does seem a little bit jittery and technically on a film set, cranes are supposed to be dead silent. This one likes to make some crickety crackety noises that I am not a big fan of. So you wanna keep an eye out for that. Maybe when you get the system, you can add your own bearings or, or grease it up or just make it quieter some way because it does tend to make some noises that are not preferable. All right guys, well that is the eight foot crane jib system from Cam Gear. If you're interested in this product, Go ahead and check out the link for it in the description box below. I will also leave a link for the dolly in the description box as well. So make sure you check out both products and check out the tripod too, because this is one of my favorite cheap tripods to get. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. I can't wait to see what you create and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.